I am not answering to my email. It's not my boss. And I think some people take it as their to-do list or they have to, like, I don't want to do that. Hey there, welcome back to Amy TV. You know what I'm a nerd for? Morning routines. I want to know what everyone's morning routine is all the time. It was part of the reason I decided to start a podcast called Detail Therapy because I wanted to be able to sit down with people and ask them what they did throughout the day, specifically how they started their day. If you're watching this video brand new, hashtag notification squad. I see you. It is week three of Detail Therapy, and we've talked to actress Leah Pipe so far, we've talked to YouTuber Matthew Santoro, and yesterday's episode that came out is with big time blogger and hysterical human being, Lauren Everts Bostic of The Skinny Confidential. Shout out to the sponsor of this episode, Squarespace, because if not for them, I would not have been able to fly out to LA to sit down with Lauren, which was a real treat. I'm a fan, like obviously, you're gonna see it in the podcast if you can listen to it and in this episode you'll it's just she's hilarious I can't I can't even we sat down for about 45 minutes but there was just a little bit of our conversation I wanted to share with you here today because we talked about her morning routine and she talked about the struggle of other people in your life as it applies to your morning routine and the struggle of just not being a morning person and needing to start the day right I thought that was gonna be super relatable for all of us so that is what we're gonna talk about today before we get started especially if you're new here make sure you subscribe to this channel. I make new videos every Sunday and Wednesday, and I'd love to have you back for the next one. So I sat down with Lauren Everts Bostic from The Skinny Confidential, wanting to find out even more than she already shares about skincare and lifestyle and waking up in the morning and doing it right. I think she shares so much amazing information about this, and you will hear it if you listen to the entire interview on the podcast. She is paving the way as a blogger of how it should be done. There is no more holding your secrets close to the vest if you are sharing information with your community, whether your competitors take it or not, you will win. And she is such an amazing display of that. So if you aspire to something like blogging or starting your own personal brand, I think you're going to get a lot of value out of this interview. But in this particular piece, if that doesn't apply to you, I think you might find interesting what she has to say about her morning routine, how she does it, what she needs to do with her husband to make sure that he doesn't interfere with the perfect morning routine. Trust me, I was taking notes. Sorry, Vinny. And specifically the angle of not being a morning person, but understanding it, knowing yourself, and working with it. So let's pop over to Lauren's offices in Los Angeles, California, when I had this chat with her about her morning routine. My husband used to wake me up for like five years in this way that was erratic. He would wake up and say Shit, or I forgot to do this, or look at his email, and it was so much cortisol in the morning. And stress. I, I can't Stop do that. Stop with the stress. My whole day is cortisol. Mm -hmm. Like I need a very methodical, strategic way to wake up. And I'm there's one thing I feel like I'm self-aware. I know not everyone's gonna like me. I know that I need to be woken up like a cat, and I know that you cannot scream <laughs> shit when I'm waking up next to you. I might turn over and stab you if you do. So I just got, had a very like very open conversation with him, which was like I need you to basically be quiet until 9 a.m. <laughs> I, I need that. to like Blake, do my please stuff. note this part of the podcast where we play this for Vincenzo when we get home. Thank you. Yes. Okay. No, it's 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 you have to figure out are you a morning person or are mm -hmm. you a night person? For mm -hmm. me, I am not a morning person. So I just need to like set the tone of my day in the way that works for me. And what that looks like is not looking at my phone in the morning, mm -hmm. like avoiding it at all costs. Um, I like to wake up and meditate for 10 minutes with Headspace. Uh, I like to open the shades. I like to let light in because I feel like that trains your brain to wake up. Yeah. And I like to go walk and get coffee. And I don't like to check my phone then. I'll either I'll either like listen to a podcast or just walk. I'll get a coffee. I'll come back. Lots of water. Lots of lemon. And those are like my like non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. I'd like to drink water the second I wake up, even while I'm meditating. I think like you, I feel like you're a plant in the morning. Yeah. You need water. Yeah. Um. And then I like to do a workout. Sometimes I read in the morning. I don't want to go on my email. I um, my email can wait. I think that I am not uh, answering to my email. It's not my boss. And I think some people 
take it as their to-do list or they have to, like, I don't want to do that. But that's the funny thing is we're all thinking the same thing, that this is going to be a list of demands that somebody else is, a bunch of other people are asking me for. So when are you willing to engage that? Do you want somebody else's demand of what you should be doing when you first wake up? Or can you do it on your own time? That's what's so fascinating about it. I, I said that to Vin once, my husband. I was like, I, I don't check my email until a certain period of time because it's a it's just a bunch of requests of what other people want me to do. And I've already designed what I'm up to. Like, yes. I already know what I'm doing. You've designed your life. So there may be something in there that I need for what I've designed for my day, my week, my month, my year. But everything else is not a priority yes. whatsoever. Today I woke up. I knew that y- you were waiting on a time. So I knew t- to just go. And I email. really appreciate that. No, too. and I just knew like I just needed to search Amy and I don't want to see yep. anything else. I just talked to you over email and then I got off my email. There was nothing else that I needed to do until I sat down at a computer at 12 o'clock. Um, I'm also like. I like to clean Mm -hmm. and I'm creating in my brain while I'm cleaning. So I like to make the bed. I like to set my kitchen up. I like oils, candles, like all these. I like to make my space very um, workflowy so I can I can be a better creator. Um, I think that I have worked so hard to design the life I want that if I have to live by my email inbox, it's I'm going to blow my head off. Absolutely. So, um, you know, I sit down after probably I probably sit down to my email inbox at about 11. Thank you so much, Lauren, for sitting down with me. Is she not such a good time? You need to go tell her. Go to her Instagram, comment on her latest photo and let her know you came over from Amy TV because girl is hysterical and she also brings it. So hopefully you had a lot going on there that you could unpack and take some tips for yourself. And now I'm gonna turn that question around to you. What is your morning routine like? How do you set yourself up for success? How do you make the most out of those morning hours, whether it's your best hour or not? Leave that in the comments below. And thanks again to my friends at Squarespace because of them, again, I was able to share all these interviews with you at the kickoff of Detail Therapy and they really made a lot of this stuff happen. Not just being able to help me get on a plane to fly out to see everybody, but to help me have the most banging podcast website that there is. I am so loving detailspodcast.com. It is where all the show notes live for the podcast. It's hosted by Squarespace. And I basically put that thing together in half a day because it is so easy and intuitive. If you don't already know, Squarespace is an amazing resource for building powerful and beautiful online platforms. There are award-winning designer templates easily building out a website that you can use for whatever brand you are building. And we all need that home base. We need our own website. We can't just rely on social for everything. No matter what type of project, creative, business, whatever it is that you have, there is an option there for you. So I want you to take advantage of a free trial of Squarespace by going to squarespace.com slash Amy Landino. And you'll also get 10% off your first purchase if you do go through that link. Check it out. It's in the description below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes and remember to continue to go after the life that you want. Cheers.